Hello everyone, Kels Prime here and we've got another Honkai Star Rail video for you. Now, Honkai Star Rail has been out for a little while and for those of you that haven't yet jumped on the bandwagon, you may be oh, really early on in the game. You may be thinking what characters are best to look at, what characters for free to play are best to go with before you actually start getting your five stars. So these will essentially be some of the four star characters. So. Here is a list of characters that I feel that you should definitely be looking at and it will help you a lot in your ways going forward and getting you know ahead of that content and just beating the content that's there. As you know, Honkai Star Rail is a single player game so there's no need to like compete with anyone like it's saying Lost Ark. So play at your own pace, don't feel pressured, the content isn't going anywhere so do what you need to do. But first character in line is Natasha. She is an abundance character, meaning she is a healer. And there is only two healers currently in the game. Most prefer Natasha over Bailey because Natasha has a bonus ability in the traces called Soothe. The skill removes one debuff from a target ally, which is pretty good, especially considering she's a four star character. Bailu is actually a five star character and you actually get Natasha given to you pretty early on in the game. She's really easy to build, they give you a 3 star armor set for her and you can get a good 4 star set armor which is a healing set which you can get from Pom Pom from Trailblazer level ups which is again all free, you don't have to pay for anything, you don't even have to spend anything, it's just literally playing the game and progressing. She has good healing abilities, one being her skill which heals the target ally and one being her ult which heals the whole team. This makes her a must use in any party, especially when you're early on in the game, you don't really have that full shield like say from uh, Japard, who is a 5 star character that can shield all your characters. March 7 can shield, but at the same time it's a single shield only, so having the ability to heal and keep your team in the game is definitely a good thing. Next we have the main character, or as people refer to it, as the MC. Now when you start off you're at physical, but as you progress through the story you will unlock the fire version of the main character. The fire character becomes an actual tank when using flame mode, which is really good because you want you, you want a tanky character to be able to absorb that kind of uh, hate that the enemies have, the enmity, so it can attract the attention to him or her, and at that point Natasha can then focus heals on that character. Their abilities make them a great tank, and one of their traces for the flame side include Ever Burning Amber, which increases the Trailblazer's damage reduction by 42% and gains one stack of Magma Will, with a 100% base chance to taunt all enemies for one turn. This means they can tank a lot of damage and take the pressure off your other allies. They are also the only tank with a 100% taunt rate. You do also get a free 4 star tank set to go along with them, which is great, again all of this is free and handed to you. March 7th is another really good character. Naturally she is free to play and offers a shield for an ally as I said earlier, providing extra protection. Not only that, she has a trace bonus that gives her shield ability to remove debuff trait, which is a very useful thing to have. She also has great constellations with her second one reading as follows. Upon entering battle, grants a shield equal to 24% of March 7th defense plus 320 to the ally with the lowest HP percentage, lasting for three turns. So not only have her second constellation does she give herself a shield, your weakest ally also gets a you know a higher upgraded shield, which is really nice. As you can see, she can provide a shield at the start of the battle, then provide more shield with her skill after. This helps you protect your allies from damage and is a lifesaver. In fact. Early on in the game I didn't have Natasha and she pretty much kept my team alive focusing on just keeping the shield up for the team and CCing her way through with her ult. Really really good because her ult is really powerful especially if the enemies are weak to ice it has a really high chance of freezing them and if it does then happy days you get 3 turns of attack. Again really good. Asta is another one, she is a 4 star harmony character which means she is a buffer. Her ultimate allows you to increase the speed of all your allies for 2 turns and she can even increase the attack of your allies by 8.4% which can stack up to 5 times from 1 stack of charging. She gains a stack of charging from every time she hits an enemy and she gets 2 
if they have a fire weakness, which is awesome because you want to get those stacks up as quick as possible. You can also gain a 4 star light cone called Past and Future, which increases the next ally's attack by 16% after the use of her skill. This is insanely good. Finally we come to Pella. She is a Ice Nihility, meaning she is a debuffer. She has a technique which when she enters a battle, Pella deals ice damage equal to 80% of her attack to a random enemy with a 100% base chance of lowering the defense of all enemies by 20% for 2 turns. Really really good right? Defense shred is really good for the hunt characters as they can then go in and shred after their defense gets lowered. Really really useful powerful stuff especially for someone like Den Hung who's a hunt really good especially as a, a free character, you know, can go in and he deals a lot of damage. So having someone like Pella shred the defense and then him come in using his burst or his ability, his technique, lots of damage, really, really good stuff. She then has a skill that allows you to remove one buff and deal ice damage equal to 105% of Pella's attack to one enemy. This means that the enemy's bosses that have a buff where they revive once after being killed, you could use her skill and stop that from happening, only making you kill them once. The only negative thing about her, however, about Pella, is unlike Natasha, the MC, March 7 and Asta who are all freely given to you, Pella is actually a gacha character and not a free one. However, it would be reminiscent of me, I believe, to not include her in this list as she is still a very good 4 star to pick for your team and as you're pulling on the beginner banner or the standard banner or the uh, limited banners, if you do get her, don't just pass her up, she is extremely useful and extremely good. Those are the five characters. I did mention Den Hung. Den Hung is a really, really good DPS as well. He is pretty much uh, the hunt of the pack. I think he's the only one that you get as you start the game, so you probably want him in the group as well because he's going to be your main damage dealer. He does really good damage and does a lot of shred damage when it comes to wind shields, so definitely uh, keep an eye on him and level him up. In my opinion, he's actually pretty much going to be your main DPS dealer for a while until you get someone that's a lot better and in a much better position to overtake him in terms of damage. So like if you pull someone like Sila, for example, that would probably replace him. Well, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and let's have that discussion. Right, that's it. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell to stay up to date with all content I release. If you want to support me further, you can do that through that shiny new join button, which is activated on this channel. All proceeds go towards the channel. If you do not want to do that, you can also support me through my Patreon. Links to that are in the description below. Or simply put, if you want to send a thanks for the video, there is that new feature enabled by YouTube where you can thank content creators for the work they put in for the video directly for the video. And that is also under the video right next to the join button. Well, that's it folks. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.